Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us for another of our Torah study sessions. So glad that you're here with us. Um, as usual, we're going to start by taking the news, putting it off to the side. I'm going to grab my kipote. And today, I am, I've been doing a lot of baseball stuff recently because the spring training has started. And so I'm going to wear this today for that. And then we've got our Tanakh. Before we start, Tanakh, <laughs> before we start, we've got our blessing to say over uh, the reading of Torah. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kidshani B'mitzvot Hav, V'tzivanu La'asok B'divrei Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. All right. So, I actually have a little stand here. So when I'm reading the Torah, you can see what I'm doing. I feel it's weird to be pointing at something while I'm reading that no one else can see. And it's hard to angle my... Uh, computer correctly so you can see me in the frame and whatever here we go this is God talking to Moses about his brother you shall bring forward your brother Aaron with his sons from among the Israelites to serve me as priests Aaron Nadav and Avihu Eleazar and Ithamar the sons of Aaron, make sackcloth vestments for your brother Aaron for dignity and adornment. Next you shall instruct all who are skillful, whom I have endowed with the gift of skill, to make Aaron's vestments for consecrating him to serve me as priest. These are the oops, too far. vestments they are to make. Bre a breastpiece, an ephod, a robe, a fringed tunic, a headdress, and a sash. They shall make those sackcloth vestments for your brother Aaron and his sons for priestly service for me. They therefore shall receive the gold, the blue, the purple, and crimson yarns, and the fine linen. Okay, so that's a lot of reading about dress, how to be dressed. And it's important when we are doing something and going out and presenting ourselves to the world that we dress a certain way. If you go to a doctor's office and you saw your doctor come in, in with one sandal and a torn t-shirt uh you probably wouldn't think very highly of them even if they were an excellent doctor their dress has nothing to do with their skill but it's the matter of presentation this is a really good week for this kind of discussion because this week is purim and in purim we we celebrate and we wear masks obviously not this kind of mask but masks are something that we're very used to wearing i'm going to take it off so i don't have to shout for the rest of the video because this is a pretty thick mask and so I have to shout a little bit more to be recorded properly but you know this mask it's not a fun kind of mask but I also decided to buy a mask that is a little bit fun it says Spaceballs the face mask if you have seen the movie Spaceballs you will understand the joke if you haven't hilarious don't worry about it uh no but like masks have a function it said for hmm, what was the wording it said for endowment and adornment and endowment just means like well adornment is re really the key part about the presentation about how it looks to other people if you are wearing a surgical mask with regular blue masks that's awesome if you are wearing a mask that's cloth or that looks like something that you um i mean you have to buy surgical masks anyway but something you have to invest a little bit more money in then people may think of you a little bit differently than if you're wearing a surgical mask. And it's different if your surgical mask seems to have a tear in it, or you know if you drew on it or something, um, or it just looks old. I have to wash this mask pretty regularly so that it looks new and that it's, it keeps working. I'll have to replace it at some point again. If I started this video with this beach ball, you'd all think it was gonna be a very different kind of video than the Torah videos that we do, where I start off with a magazine. So presentation 
on the one hand, is very superficial. We shouldn't judge a book by its cover. We should get to know people, and we should give people the opportunity to show who they are on the inside. But we know that we don't always do that. It's difficult. It's really easy to see someone and then judge them immediately. So we need to keep in mind that other people will have this trouble also, and we want to be judged positively. So we should present ourselves in a situation where we're going to be judged positively. It's more important for things like job interviews or when you're at your job or if you're meeting someone new. But even if you're seeing your friends and family, um, it's important to present yourself. You will feel good about yourself. They will feel good about you. Just like the priests have this special dress up because they are the intermediaries between the people and God. We don't really have priests anymore for a variety of reasons, but when we did, it was important for the priests to look a certain way. Even now, we expect our rabbis to look a certain way. There are some rabbis that are more casual, and that works for many of them, but it doesn't work for all of them. And it works for some congregants, but it doesn't work for all congregants. Some congregants like a rabbi that looks like a rabbi, uh, and there are a lot of congregants who like rabbis who look more approachable. Kind of got to read the room, I guess is the saying. Speaking of which, I'm wearing this baseball kippah. It's fine for this. If I was going to, God forbid, a funeral, um, this probably wouldn't be the appropriate kippah, even though technically any head covering is fine. But they would probably like it better if I was wearing this. Or if I was wearing this one. Or if I was going to someone who I knew was Israeli, maybe this one would be good. But if they weren't Israeli, this one may not be very good. If they were like a professional baseball player and they were Jewish and they died and I was going to their funeral, maybe this would be okay. But even then, a baseball player is more than just a baseball player. They're a human being. They're a family member. They're a community member. Um, so, you know, this is good for this situation, but it may not be good for all situations. Anyway, Purim is a great time to talk about masks and talk about roles and how we present ourselves. You know, Queen Esther presents herself as not a Jew until it becomes important that she announces that she is a Jew. Maybe the story would go differently if as soon as uh, Ahasuerus decides to marry her, she says, also I'm Jewish. And then Haman shows up, I don't know, a few months after they're married. The story isn't very clear on the time. Um, but... Haman then shows up and says, we're going to kill all the Jews. Maybe Ahasuerus, instead of saying, sure, I don't really care, says, no, my wife is Jewish. We're not going to do that. And then the story ends much faster and is much happier for everyone involved, except Haman, obviously. I hope every time I'm saying the word Haman, you've got some kind of grogger to drown his name out. Anyway, that's this week's lesson. I hope that... Uh, it has some meaning for you and that you can think of some way to work on, not work on, think of some way to consider your presentation and consider how you view other people's presentations and the ups, the pros and cons of doing that on the one hand. If you go to your doctor's appointment and they are wearing kind of crappy clothing, I wouldn't blame you for being a bit suspicious of them. On the other hand, we want to get to know people before we judge them entirely. It's a, it's a balance. So with all that in mind, um, we've got Amisha Barach. If you know someone in need of healing, physical, mental, emotional, pandemic fatigue, whatever, you know the examples I'm going to give by now. Now is a good time to think of them. You could also think of yourself. Or if you can't think of anyone, then um, take the time to consider what we were talking about, about presentations. Here we go.
It's kind of a harsher cutoff than I meant, but we'll hit the wrong button. Oh well. So that's it. I hope, um, why am I blanking? I don't know. It's fine. It's not a performance. So thank you all for joining us again. I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you enjoyed your Purim or you are enjoying whatever Purim stuff you may be doing over the weekend. Um, we are going to, I'm going to, so it has almost been a year of me doing these videos weekly. And so uh, once that hits in about two or three weeks, I'm going to start doing these less often, maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. We'll see. But I just wanted to give you all a heads up on that. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about this or about the portion or really anything else, feel free to shoot me an email on the Jewish Life account. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Shabbat Shalom.